was like, man, I'm never going to eat that stuff again. And I remember another Christmas, probably the most disappointed I've ever been. Man, I was excited for Christmas. I wanted a PlayStation, right? The original PlayStation. And I wanted one so bad that I was, uh, I was begging for it and begging for it and begging for it. And three or four days before Christmas, I just couldn't take the anticipation. So I started snooping on, pres- on these presents. And I knew where Mom and Dad hit them. And I found a wrapped up little box. And I opened it, and it was a PlayStation game. So I was like, yes, I'm getting a PlayStation. Woo, right? I'm excited. I was pumped. And I don't know how I made it the three or four days that I did until Christmas, but I can remember coming out of my room that Christmas morning just excited, right? I was like, yeah, beaming, walking on sunshine, right? I was excited. Had my acceptance speech ready like I won an Emmy. I was like, thank you, thank you. I would like to thank my parents. I would like to thank Santa Claus. Um, not going to thank my brother because he doesn't get to play. You know, I, I had the speech ready, right? I was going. And then we start opening gift after gift after gift. And, you know, there's socks and there's underwear and there's Pez dispensers. I don't know why people thought those were cool, but they did. There was maybe a keychain, And I'm like, I'm eight. I can't drive a car. And, and all this stuff. And there was no, um, there was no PlayStation. Like all the paper and everything had, had had settled and there was no PlayStation. There was a um, gift pack of root cologne for a 10-year-old, you know. I don't need aftershave bomb, but <laughs> anyways, there was no PlayStation. So I'm sulking all day, right? We go to Grandma and Grandpa's. Everybody, all 45 of members of the family come over, and we're in this little bitty 1,200-square-foot house, and whew, it's crazy, right? And everybody's asking me, did you have a good Christmas? I'm like, yeah. I said, well, what would you get for Christmas? Not a PlayStation. I got some brute cologne. <laughs> and, they're, you know, I'm just sulking the whole day. And finally we get home, and Mom's like, what's wrong with you? And she knew I had been snooping, right? She knew. She knew. She just, I, I don't know if it was the duct tape on the package that gave it away or what, but she knew, right? And so we get home, and there's m- miraculously this new box sitting there. And open it up, and of course, it's the PlayStation, right? And I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm like, oh, back on my acceptance speech or whatever, and I'm ready to go. And mom knew that I had snooped. And so on that day, she taught me a very important lesson. She taught me that it didn't matter what I got. I needed to be grateful that I had what I needed. I needed to be grateful for what I had gotten. You know, and I think, I told you, we're going to get somewhere in a minute, but I think, I know I do this, and probably some of you do this, A lot of times in our walk with God, we get so focused on what we want that we are really blind to what we need. 